Yo, yeah, what up, folks? So we got a crank no start on this vehicle here. This is a SX4 Suzuki. Um, customer complaint is that they replace the engine for a customer and now the vehicle doesn't want to start. Right, so I uh, basically did a, you know, interview the, the garage owner and he told me that they took the, this originally was a four coil pack um, engine and the one they got was a two coil pack engine. Right, and from there I already know, you know, something have, you know, something is definitely could be wrong with the reluctant wheel or the crankshaft sensor, or even the camshaft sensor. Um, we're not getting no spark coming up. We're getting all the voltage that you're supposed to get. Well, this car came driving, so um, we had no physical problems with electrical problems with the vehicle, but mechanically the vehicle has lost compression that's why they replaced the engine so the garage owner told me he checked for spark and uh, he's not getting a spark he checked for um fuel he got fuel coming up so why the vehicle isn't starting and as i said they replaced the engine this is the second engine that he's uh, swapped out because the one he bought before didn't have any compression and this one is basically has an egr and the original engine doesn't have an egr harness so, is, I'm going to just do my checks and see. So, he said that he replaced the camshaft and the crankshaft sensors and still the vehicle isn't starting. And from what I'm seeing on the codes that he picked up, he got a P0335, which is crank sensor position sensor circuit malfunction. And he has some other issues with throttle body and things like that, but I'm just focusing on the P0335, which is a um, crank sensor that's telling you that the crank sensor is malfunctioning, not seeing the crank sensor for some reason. I'm not, as I said, I'm not sure um, what's going on here, but I'm just gonna. You know ask some more questions this engine that he has on the ground is the original engine and this is a Suzuki SX4 right um, this originally was the four coil pack engine and I believe they brought a two coil pack engine and I think that is where the the hiccup is occurring that we're not sure if the crankshaft is the same or if the camshaft is the same but he they did mention to him that they could change the camshaft and it will work, but I'm trying to explain to him that it doesn't make any sense. I mean, this this engine that you purchase or they purchase under warranty, just get the right engine and put it in. If the car came in for a uh, misfire or low compression in the cylinder, just put back in the original engine. I mean, that's, that's common sense, but they trying to save a buck or whatever the case may be and basically, they haven't wasting time and if it was me I would have charged extra for that time that they had me wasting taking off this engine and putting it back up right you gotta get the right engine there's no way a coil pack a four coil pack engine is gonna work on a two um, a waste pack setup you know um, I, I, what I did also while I was there I told them well come how much teeth it have to compare to what's on the um, the engine that that they have up now but I mean we just you know wasting time right here but I'm I was called upon to this you know do some checks so I'm just gonna check the ground go into the um, coil number one right ground signal and, and power make sure that I'm getting that from the ECU as I said this vehicle came in driving so I don't think it have any electrical problems right just what it had a mechanical problem and uh, as I said I'm not sure Right, so I'm, I'm definitely getting 12 volts or battery voltage on one pin. This is the middle pin is my signal, and basically I'm getting nothing. Right, and he key is on engine off, and even when you crank, you're not getting no signal from the the middle pin. Right, um, as I said, I'm just going to do my checks, man. Um, we done came to the conclusion that we got to get the correct engine, but I just wanted to, you know, I was called upon to just verify what he already know knew and just you know for the customer's sake okay, right, right.
So I'm just doing my checks with a multimeter, right? I'm checking to see if I'm getting power, ground, and signal to this um coil. Number one, if I'm not getting that, I mean, it's had to be something with the crank and the cam sensors that um sending the signal and causing this vehicle not to start. So just making sure I'm thorough with my checks. And as you can see from the you know the setup, I'm not getting anything when you crank. So clearly showing that I'm missing something is as I said is not from the ECU, right? This car came in driving from what I was told, right? And now it's not driving, it's not even starting right after you replace the engine. So what's the problem? Problem has to be this engine and you know the client have to you know face the face reality and, and spend spend their cash. There's no if no buts, there's nothing you know this garage could do actually they end up spending more because they got a pain for the time that he took to take this engine up um off and on then he got to pay me for coming and diagnose this crank no start you know i mean just by the correct thing right but as i said we're just doing some more checks to see you know that we cover all our bases so when he decided this um to have this conversation with the client you know, he have you let them know that he did all his checks, and they have to get a engine, the right engine, the four core, the four coil pack engine, not the two type waste pack. This is a cover from the original engine. This cannot work. The timing will be off, and and might be different on this um, engine compared to the one that originally came. So I got my scope hooked up, and right, I'm just gonna just take some capture from the crank and the cam. The, the crankshaft is located, um, sensor is located, it's kind of a top spot, so I, I just removed the alternator bolt so I can um, back pull straight off the crankshaft. I don't have the um, sensor, I don't have the pin out for the ECU. I thought I would could have got it got through, but it seemed like it was a little bit more hassle. So I decided to go straight on the signal wires for the crank and the cam sensor. So let's um, set the scope up, all right? and see if we could get some capturing compared to the uh, known good and you know let them know that they have to replace the this engine again you know um sorry about the noise in the background that's the um what you call it that's the radio plane i have no control of over that right i don't own the copyrights for that song so you know um good old school music though right so yeah, I tried to see if I could have gotten the um, the pinout for the ECU. At least I could have back pro from there, but I wasn't able to. So I just unjacked the crank sensor, and I'm gonna just do some management checks there, and then do the same on the crank on the cam, and just you know verify what I'm seeing. If it's a pull up, pull down circuit. If I'm getting my five volt. Matter of fact, what I can do is just um, hook up to the crank sensor. And I'm gonna let the client, um, the one of the guys in the shop, turn the, the what you call it, the pulley. And as you can see, when we turn the pulley, you're seeing that the voltage is changing. So, what that means? That means that the crank sensor is picking up and it is reading. It just could be out of time due to the wrong engine. You know. So, and there's another way you can check to see if your crank sensor is working. You know, you put a multimeter on the signal wire and you just rotate the the, um, the pulley or the engine and, you know, you watch the voltage. You want to see the voltage go from, let's say, 0 to 5 volts, you know, range or 0 0.3 or something like that, the 5 volt range. Yeah, so, it just keep playing in that little zone, right? And the crank sensor is picking up. That means the ECU also is working. That also means my harness is good. So... Was the next thing it gotta be that this engine i'm gonna stick to it i'm gonna hold my you know put everything put my lunch money on it that's how sure i'm at with this right so well, i'm just having a little more fun with it you know me uh, i like to dig deeper and go a little beyond right so i got my two channel scope hooked up this is hs um 502 right excellent scope man it did work with your android and you know, I'm just going to get a capture and see if compared to a known good when I get some internet and yeah.
that's it so this is my crank and my cam the blue is a crank the red is a cam and I'm just going to do a little comparison that's it so I'm going to make a recommendation to this client that they gotta replace this engine and put the correct engine on so what are you gonna do anyway like subscribe share comment you know criticism they will let, leave it down in the box let me know how I can improve my skills and you know what you would like to see me test in the future but you know what until then take it easy